All right, the time has come. The individual serving challenge. I don't know if you guys know, but there can only be one winner for the perfect serving challenge. So you know what that means. We have to split you two up and you're going head to head against one another for the perfect serving challenge trophy. The challenge is you have one hour to put the best thing possible you can put on one plate. All right? And the time starts now. So Paul, what do you got cooking? So I'm gonna do my famous, uh, my dad's famous apple pie. Okay. And I'm gonna make some uh, homemade ice cream in our batch freezer. Wow. And I'm gonna top it off with a little caramel. And then I'm gonna do a um, caramel uh, lot, or cam caramel cappuccino uh, from our Frankie machine. So wow. I'm, I'm really excited, it's gonna taste great. I'm just peeling these potatoes, I'm gonna cut them down. I'm gonna get them in the pot over there. Potatoes? But, potatoes or, or apples? So, oh, apples. I, I'm so used to the first round, we were doing the sweet <laughs> potatoes in the first round. Now we're in round four, we gotta go head to head. I'm all flustered, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if I'm coming or going, but I'm gonna start uh, the ice cream, I think, right now. So I'm just gonna go over to uh, the batch freezer over here. And uh, this should be ready in about seven minutes. All right, I'm gonna go check out your competition now. You go see what he's got going yeah. on. Hey, Rob, what do you got cooking up here today? Well, I've uh, sliced up some eggplant. Okay. And uh, I've got it in a nice egg bath. Yeah. And then I am rolling it in some seasoned breadcrumbs. All right. And then getting it ready for the fryer. And so what's this dish called? This is called Nonna's um, Eggplant Tower. Oh, you're taking it old school. Taking it old. Oh my God, this sounds mouthwatering. Yeah, and then wait. I'm just going to uh, layer some uh, some fresh uh, buffalo mozzarella, some tomato sauce, some fresh basil, and we're gonna stack it high, some balsamic glaze, and simple and done. Wow, that sounds delicious. So Paul's going for something sweet, and it sounds like you're going for something savory. Something. Oh, well, the best of both worlds. I love it, I can't wait. Good luck, Robbie. Good luck to you. How are you gonna do this, Rob, down around Rob, without me carrying you? <laughs> the sound of chatter means nervousness. You can ride my coattails for the first three rounds. <laughs> so much for teamwork. <laughs> what have you done for me lately, Rob? It's what have you done for me lately? Whoa. All right, so here we are, breaded pinwheel eggplant, ready to go into the Henny Penny Fryer. And when the red matches the red, you know that it's perfectly sealed no chance for an accident. A little bit of brown sugar. Uh, sure. I want some to apples. Well, you have to work hard when you don't have the skill. Well, talk is cheap. You say it? Talk is cheap. When he tastes that ice cream that's ready right now, he will be in heaven. Uh, it's all, listen, it's all in his mind now. He's, he's in his own head. This is, this is boxing 101. Culinary style. Culinary, please, Rob. Fresh ice cream. He's got some what? Eggplant Parmesan going on there? Nothing beats fresh ice cream out of the batch freezer. You know what, on the, uh, on the dough, I like having a little bit of butter still left in there. I like to just get it all and then shot here. All right, so I'm gonna put my uh, crust or my pie in here. I got a little decoration across the little apple I like to do. Um, I'm gonna put it in here for 40 minutes. It's gonna bake in the combi. I put it on convection mode though, just the straight heat at 350 uh, for 40 minutes. Once it's done, it's gonna be nice and flaky. You're gonna have the nice uh, apples that are gonna be caramelized with the, the uh, brown sugar, the cinnamon, the nutmeg. Uh, everything is going to taste delicious. Then once it comes out, I'm going to put that fresh ice cream on top of it, put a little bit of caramel sauce, uh, a little bit of mint on top, and I think I've got a winner. I'm ready to take this. All right, guys, that's one minute to go. You better have your plates ready. One minute to go, boys. Let's Paul, have go. you seen the balsamic? I hit it on you. Ah, here it is.
All right, guys, let's go. That's three, two, one. Time's up, hands up, let's go. All right, it's judgment time. Who's it gonna be, Rob or Paul, to take home the perfect serving challenge trophy? Well, let's see what the judges think. Let's bring them in. All right, judges, I want you to dig in. This is apple crumble with homemade vanilla ice cream and a little bit of fresh mint to top it off. Okay, judge number one. And judge number two. And judge number three. All right, judges, this is Nona's Eggplant Parmigiana Tower. Let us know what you think. Okay, judge number one. And judge number two. And judge number three. Hey! All right, the results are in from the blind judging. And the winner of the first ever TFI Perfect Serving Challenge is... Rob Mancini! <laughs> Congratulations, Thank Rob. You. Well done, well Thank done. You. Paul, it was I, a good I job. can't believe I lost to you. <laughs> I do gotta tell you though, I have tasted your Nona's eggplant parm. It is delicious. Worthy winner. Thank you, Thank you, partner. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, partner. Great working with you. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, I am so pleased and proud to present you with the first ever Perfect Serving Challenge Cup, Rob. Congratulations and a job well done. Oh, thanks so much. Wow. So proud. Your food was excellent, I have to say. Well, I'm ecstatic that I won the first ever Perfect Serving Challenge Cup. But in all seriousness, you know, competing in the kitchen with my colleagues, using our equipment, I mean, all of that just makes us better at what we do. And because of that, I want to dedicate this to our customers at TFI, the Perfect Serving. And there you have it, the first ever Perfect Serving Challenge. If you loved any of the recipes on today's episode, head over to our blog and discover how you can recreate these delicious dishes.